Hello and welcome to today's September 22nd second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update. Today we will cover Steve Mnuchin and Jerome Powell testifying before Congress on the need for more stimulus. I'll talk about the current state of the stimulus package and after doing research I've discovered three areas of distraction that I see coming. Now, if you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. I really appreciate you being in the community. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now. Okay, now today, Steve Mnuchin of the Treasury and uh, Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve each testified before a congressional committee on the need for more stimulus to help the American people and also to help the American economy. Jerome Powell said, I would say many, most forecasters assume some fiscal action. Fiscal action underlies many, many current forecasts. Powell continued, what's happened lately is the economy has proved resilient, both in the broader spread of the disease over the summer in some of the southwestern states and also uh, to the expiration of the CARES Act benefits. The risk is that over time, they go through those savings, meaning the American people. They haven't been able to find employment yet because it is going to take a while to get 11 million people back to work. So their spending will decline. He then added their liability to stay in their homes will decline. So the economy will begin to feel those negative effects at some time. Now, let me break this down into simple terms. Essentially, Jerome Powell said that we're still in the middle of climbing out of this mess and that the positive projections that most analysts are putting forward have some element of stimulus relief built into those positive projection numbers. So basically, uh, people still need stimulus relief aid in order to get back to work and keep their roof uh, over their head. Um, so he is saying that uh, the, these projections that we've been putting out, they were kind of counting on there being some form of stimulus relief to the economy and the American people. So to not get too excited about the positive projections because they did include some form of stimulus. Stephen Mnuchin, uh, who is Secretary of Treasury, said in a nutshell uh, that the American people need more help and a targeted package in order to continue to see the recovery that we want and need to see. Now, Mnuchin said uh, at his last congressional hearing that a plan for $1.5 trillion would be a good number to help the U.S. economy and the United States citizens. Uh, it would include a stimulus check, more PPP funding, and it would give confidence for those that are experiencing unemployment right now. Uh, well, wouldn't you know it, the uh, Problem Solvers Caucus came out within a few days with a $1.5 trillion deal that most people felt was a really good deal because it gave a stimulus check it helped uh, with rental assistance, and it also gave unemployment until Janu January 2021. Uh, so he, he, he said we need $1.5 trillion, and then that plan was presented, and so far it's just not gotten any kind of traction among those that are senior in the House of Representatives. Um, now, those that have their seat up for election or are newer to the House of Representatives, they are saying hey, this is a good deal, let's get this done. Many Republicans are saying, hey, this is a good deal, let's get this done. Uh, even the White House and President Trump said that this $1.5 trillion deal, dollar deal <laughs> looks really good. So now, I've, I've, I've had my worries and uh, I've been doing a lot of reading and researching for the community. And I, I still, personally, this is just my opinion for a minute, I still believe that we will see another stimulus relief package. Um, not because I want to see it, uh, but because from everything that I'm reading, the country still needs to see it. 
Um, there are many, you know, millions of people that are doing just fine, but there are also uh, millions of American citizens that are struggling or that are unemployed or are underemployed. And so I believe another stimulus package is needed. Um, these are the three big areas that I see. We need a stimulus check for the American people. We need confidence that those that are unemployed are going to receive some form of assistance until the end of the year. And we need some kind of rent and mortgage assistance program. These are kind of the big three. Now there's other areas that obviously need help, but those are kind of the big three. So, but with that, as I've been doing my reading and researching for you guys, um, there I see three major roadblocks. Uh, the first one is with the passing of Judge Ginsburg in the Supreme Court, both parties are heavily distracted uh, right now, fighting each other, um, trying to decide if and when to fill that seat before the presidential election or after the presidential election. The second thing that I see being uh, an issue or a distraction is there's an upcoming election in about 42 days as of today. Uh, Congress members are distracted trying to look good for their voters. They are trying to, uh, at the same time, make the opposite party look bad while giving themselves something to brag about when they go back home to try to save their seat or get their party elected or get their party's president elected or re-elected. So Congress is just very, very distracted because of the, the presidential election. The third area of distraction that I'm worried about is uh, funding the federal government uh, to avoid a, a shutdown in October and November. Uh, it appeared that there was a deal done uh, but now that pen is being put to paper, uh, some of those verbal agreements are not being put in writing. I'm not going to go into what those are, um, but they are food related. Um, but either way, there's a lot of distraction in Congress as far as how to keep the federal government open. So, But uh, Mnuchin and Powell uh, will speak this coming Thursday to the Finance Committee in front of Congress. And as I mentioned, uh, Republican lawmakers specifically are very interested in questioning Jerome Powell on the $300 billion that has not been used from the original CARES Act and how that might be repurposed to be stimulus checks or unemployment money through the end of the year. So uh, that, that will be a big, big revelation coming out this coming Thursday. Uh, this is my report for today. As I know more, I will share more. Um, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like, I would really appreciate that. I put hours and hours into uh, creating these videos for the community and uh, showing that you appreciate that through a like helps me. It also lets YouTube know uh, whether to share that or not. All right, now I created a video. It's probably right here or right here, wherever YouTube puts it, uh, just to bring a smile or a laugh to your face. I, I hope that you enjoy it. If nothing else, I wish to remind you that you are amazing. I really do appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.